Talk. You're in prison now. You don't have any say. Cell three, open up. Where is he? It's me, Jeff. I got locked up. You know what happens on strike three? Three guys beat you up. Don't ask me a question. What's cutting throat? Yep. Let out my anger on my bunk mate. <laughs> Ryan. Well, yo, can I get a soup? Inmates. Inmates. Wood. Call me steel face. Shut up, white boy. Don't ever disrespect us. White boy, look around. You're outnumbered. Walking, 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 walking. All right, look, I understand that our channel here is still in a probationary period, but I have good news. I, Jeff Wittick, am no longer a convicted felon in the United States, in the world, in the universe, anywhere. I have no more felonies on my record. It just feels so good to say that. I want you guys to hear it from my lawyer himself. Can you get Chris on the phone? Jeff, we want to be the first to congratulate you on the success of our petition for dismissal and the granting of the expungement of your prior felony criminal record in the Los Angeles County Superior Court. The judge of your case has signed and sealed the request for expungement and the request to reduce your felony to a misdemeanor has been granted pursuant to California Penal Code Section 17B. Therefore, from this point forward, you are no longer a convicted felon in the state of California or any of the other 49 states in this jurisdiction. Hey Chris, thank you so much. I can't thank you Not enough. Problem, You're the best in the biz. You're not just a, a criminal lawyer. You're a criminal lawyer for criminals like us. But I'm not one anymore. You could get Cody's felonies expunged, you think? There's a good possibility. He's going to be another test case. Uh, because... <laughs> hey, as long as you got mine clean, that's all that matters for now. It's top priority. Chris, you know? I don't think it matters if you get them off because I'm just going to get them again anyway. Does that new law, uh, reduce felonies, qualify for manslaughter? Uh, it does. Oh, it good. Does the There's hope. Involved. There's hope yet. We did nine years with Cody. They met in prison. So let me explain why we're going back to jail today. To celebrate me never going back to jail. And we're going to show you guys how prison life is. We're doing the whole thing here. Real deal stuff. This ain't no Mr. Beast video. We're fucking doing this shit right. First step is processing. So I just got arrested. They have to get me out of my street clothes into the orange jumpsuit and make sure I have no contraband on or inside of me. So they would have me squat down. You would get completely naked in a room full of people like this. You know, you're an animal now. You've been stripped of your name. You are now inmate, whatever your number is. You're in prison now. You don't have any say. You're a convicted felon. Your credibility's out the window. Don't tell me what to do. You're in my house. Inmate, hey, get against the wall, squat and cough. Squat. Squat, down. squat. Now let me get up. <coughs> okay, clear. Let me get you your uniform. There's nothing up there. Hold on. Get that chain off. No jewelry. Could be used as a weapon or to harm yourself. Are you feeling like harming yourself? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you roll with? No one. You don't have a choice. What tank do you want to go in? You want to be black, Mexican, or white? Uh, I, think, I think I'm good with white. Okay, here you go. Here's your standard issued. Fresh meat. We got another wood. I'm you? not alone in here anymore. Let's take you to go do phone calls real quick. Call, make one phone call for put you in your cell. Let me get this wood checked in real quick. Look, you don't call the rules over here. Welcome to your new home. Can I get some clean sheets? I'll get back to you. That's really how it is too, and then they never come back, and you're just sitting here waiting like a dog. It sucks. <laughs> He's never coming back. Uh, hi, Mom. Um, I'm in jail, and I'm scared, and I don't feel good. I don't want to be in jail. I don't know if I'm going to survive in here. I think I have to get a swastika on my forehead. So we tapped your phone line. We're going to recharge you. We found out that you were talking to your victim. No, my mom. You called your victim. I called my mom. And you violated your order of protection. So guess what? You're going back to court. Let's go. Oh, that's because he broke into his ex-girlfriend's house. He broke into his ex-girlfriend's house? Yeah, <laughs> the real crime, the one real <laughs> he did. Let's go. Get comfortable. I'll be back. You got your sheets. You got your shitter. You got your cell, don't fucking act up. Don't make my job hard. If you want to fight, make sure you fight in the beginning of the shift. I don't want to do the paperwork before I got to go home. Don't make me do overtime. <laughs> it's so, you're so institutionalized, it's crazy. <laughs> you... And I'm going to give you an in-house write-up for disrespecting staff. I didn't. You, you did it? You're a convicted felon. It's my word versus you. Who do you think they're going to believe? You? No. Good luck. Take care of your people. Yeah, I'll talk to them. Yo, they call me Steel Face. I run the woods in here, so you're under me. Okay. It's very easy. We yeah, look out for each other, you know? White is right. I get a Let me hear you stick. say that. 
Do I get a swastika? Let me hear you say that. I gotta say white is right? Mm-hmm. Just say it so I know that you're a wood. Uh, white is right. All right, I could trust you, brother. Listen, I don't make the rules here. It's very outdated, this system. No, I don't want no phone calls. Just put me in my cell. All right, no problem. Oh, what up, Southside? What's up, brother? Who's that? It's Steel Face. You call me Spot, bro. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you, Spot. Who was that? Another, he's another wood. Oh, what's up, Will Pop? He's cool. What's up, Southsider? Both of y'all just got here? Well, I, I got in here yesterday. He just got in here for some assault no. charge. No. See, yo, where's our cleaning supplies, bro? You put me in a dirty cell. What do you need? Cleaning supplies, bro. You dirty ass cell, you put me in. I'll be back. Get your bed made, though. We can't have it looking like this is a bad representation of us. And by us, you know what I mean. Yes, sir. That's how it is. It's racist in here. All right. I don't make the rules. Do if I, I could change it, I would. And let's get like a swastika because I don't really want to get We're it. We're going to put a fucking swastika on your face, yeah. I don't really want to get a swastika. I mean, how cool do you want to be? Uh, not that cool. How accepted do you want to be in here? I'm trying to be here for like a month. But well, you're probably going to be here a lot longer. Hey, you guys are going to have to sell up. We got another guy coming in. Pop it, tower. Let's go. Sell up. I'm with him now? You two man sell. Let's go. Don't ask me a question. This is actually how it went for me. So I was the only wood, and I, I got bunked with the south sider that was running the whole dorm. So he looked like a young kid. He was in there for murder. That's like spot, you know, basically. But because I was only white, I rolled with them. So I went by their rules until other woods came and we like started our own You're game. the leader of some white supremacists? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a choice. It's my responsibility to keep you in check. If you get a strike for not making your bed, for looking at a fight that broke out. We should probably make this bed then. Okay, listen. The bed's not made. Strike one. You looked at a fight. Strike two. You didn't do your workout for the day. Strike three. You know what happens on strike three? Three guys beat you up. We're just two in here. So we're going to keep our fucking mouths shut. We're not going to fuck with them. We'll be respectful and everything should go good. So like I said earlier, my skill is cutting hair and I have one clipper and one clipper only. That's to do all hairstyles, all races. We have only one trimmer and the trimmer that I have in this cell today is one of our sponsors trimmer. Yes, that's right. Somehow this video is sponsored by our friends over at Manscaped, the leaders in below the waist grooming. This baby right here, the lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. It's waterproof, it has a light on it. It's got a ceramic blade, perfect for shaving your nuts. You could even shave your nuts in the dark or if you're in a dark cell. The Performance Package 5.0 Ultra is where it's at. Featuring the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, the game changer in your grooming arsenal. This is all I need in here to run this dorm. I can cut everyone's hair, be the richest man in the dorm, just from this Manscaped trimmer. I could use it to shave my nuts and I could also use it to cut other inmates' hair. But they, I don't want to tell them that. I don't want them to know. Get 20% off plus free shipping when you go to manscaped.com and use code Jeff's Barbershop. That's 20% off plus free shipping when you go to manscaped.com and use Jeff's Barbershop. Spring break is coming, boys, and I can't wait to get out of here with my fresh, freshly shaved nuts. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this episode. The Woods, they do 123 because the 23rd is the W of the alphabet. <laughs> and we are Southerners, and we just do 113. For MS-13. No, 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 for the for the M and the, the 13th letter is the M, Mexico. The 13th oh, okay. letter is M for yeah. Mexico. Right. Shut up, white boy, don't ever disrespect us. White boy, look around, you're outnumbered. Nah, there's two, there's two of us, two of you. I'm part of others. Make sure you put that money on my books and send me a letter and take some pictures for me, please. Oh. Come on, baby, you know I love you. No! Get up here, you fucking scallywags. Who's this little bitch? Nobody. Don't worry, his leader's right here. I can lock you up and I'll actually swallow the fucking key. Listen, I give you bubble gum, I give you cigarettes, and we call it even and you don't kill me and I don't beat you with perfect, a bat. Perfect, perfect. All right. Come here, get your eight hours and go home. Yeah, that's right. Don't touch me or I'll do some bad shit to you, huh? Yo, Spot. What? Yo. Can you help us out with a soup over here? I'll give you a haircut. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make something to eat later on. I'll just kick you and your, your celly some, some food over there later on. Nice, I'll hook all you guys up tomorrow. All right, let us thank out. you. Hey, I'm gonna lend you guys a bag of chips until next week. No. Ah, ah, ah. Make sure you get me no. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're lucky. You're <laughs> you lucky I got butterfingers, huh? You got a key for the cell. <laughs> this is my favorite part of jail, sleeping. Because in your dreams, you could be anywhere. So it's basically like you're free for like eight hours of each day. But then you wake up and you're like, fuck, I'm in jail. Yo, you guys got some chips for the spread? Give them the chips. 
We got you tonight. We're gonna make a meal. See? There's our contribution Mahalo to the meal tonight. Guys. All right. Welcome I, to the house, Wood. I got you on a haircut tomorrow. We're new in here, so we don't have anything yet. We're gonna leverage our skills to get some food on credit, on a like basically a loan from the Southsiders, but they're gonna share some food with us. And if we don't pay them back by next week when our commentary comes, then we're gonna get fucked up. Luckily, we have skills to offer. I'm a barber, so I cut hair. Every haircut costs one suit, so that buys me into the dinner at night, basically. Ryan here has nothing, because it's his first day. <laughs> I'm gonna make an element where it's gonna heat up our food and boil water. So first thing when making this, you would get a standard bucket inside the prison because it's used to clean the tear. Everybody gets a job in prison, so you would get this cable from the electrician department, which you would steal. This hardware is from a door. You're gonna need washers too from the plumbing department, and you're gonna have to separate these two metal, and you would separate where it doesn't make any contact, and you would put the positive and negative on one side. So you would have the positive, and then you would have the negative. Look at this. Getting hot, you see it? It's got steam coming out of it. So basically, it, it, it's some electrician work. I don't understand it because I wasn't in there for that long. This is heating the water right now, so we're gonna boil the ramen noodles and then we're gonna put it into the spread. It's kinda nice, it's like culinary school. How clean is it, like in jail? Like, it's not clean. It's not, clean. Clean. It's not but it's up it's to It's not, but you know, like, wash your hands. You. You're it's cooking, good. wash your hands. Yeah. We put the bag so it'll, you know what I'm saying? It'll yeah. touch the tables. You'd be surprised with how much they care about keeping everything super clean. It's actually kind of nice, the camaraderie, when you get together at the end of the night and you have, you know, all the guys come together, you have this big spread of food, and you get to eat a nice meal. You almost forget where you're at for a little bit, right? Yeah, no, respite from, from, the, from the, the reality of our lives yeah. inside the cell. Yeah. That's cooking right now, look, we're cooking the food. Are you blown away by this? Be honest. Yeah. We're preparing you. You should have <laughs> never broke into your girl's house. <laughs> Who do you think, she's not gonna press charges on you? She's a female, my boy. This is not the narrative. So that's already cooked? Yeah, pretty much, it's gonna hot. Time to make some tacos, my boy. Are you excited? I miss it. We don't let another man go hungry. Nah, you gonna refuse the spread? Yo, it's fire, give it a try. I'm loving it. Like, it's been three years since I had this meal. It's, it, look, it doesn't I know, look but great. I, I went vegetarian. <laughs> Get the f out of here. I really did. Are you serious? You're missing out. Oh, you're gonna have a hard time in jail. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Cleaning my cell. I think that's what my job will be. I'm just gonna be a cleaner. I don't know. I don't ask questions, I just clean. Now this is a big deal right here. Me cutting Spot and he runs the dorm. This is like me giving Justin Bieber a haircut. It's the equivalent to like the <laughs> height of, <laughs> of, a, of a celebrity <laughs> haircut. No, but like celebrity status. Policy. Yeah. If you <laughs> fucked his haircut up, you'd be. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to fuck up at this type of haircut. If I were to fuck up his haircut, yeah, I'd be in trouble. But it's not like he's got a fucking wedding coming up that he has to be at, you know? <laughs> All right, you're clean, my boy. Thank you. All thanks to Manscaped. Just saved my life in prison. I had an eagle here that I got when I was locked up last time. So I want to change it to this arm now. So I want to put like the same- whole, You want me to draw a whole eagle? A eagle, yeah. Can I don't think I can do that. Let me get the ink right quick. You're a nice guy, you know? Just some people are a product of their environment. How you grow up, you don't know any different. But you see people for their true colors in here. It's fucked up. This was done with all homemade ink. All his tattoos are. Look, he got a tattoo of a tattoo gun. <laughs> and on the other side, it's 9-11. So this you made out of a CD player? So then you just hold it like a pen and you draw it. Can you put TM? Yeah. It's just my girl on the outside. You think your girl on the outside is getting plowed right now or do you think she's faithful? No, nah, she's yeah. probably getting plowed, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Especially if we're going to Anna. She's probably getting plowed right this second. Damn. Yeah, my baby's gonna love that. Tana, when I get out. Tell her to hook me up with a sister. <laughs> Tana, when I get out. That is mine. <laughs> Yo, that's my girl, dog. That's our world, girl. <laughs> All right, so that's how you survive in prison. Basically, it's just common sense. You know, you just gotta have manners. You gotta have respect. Give respect to get respect. You got anything you wanna add? Your friend right there. He's going back. He's gonna come back. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna go to burn a man and suck my own dick. By boof, you mean this would go in the ass or in the cheeks? 
in the butthole. I just wanna go to Burning Man and suck my own dick on a spaceship.